Okay, right. Junior, go ahead now. So we're looking at that over there. That's right. our reducing station. A reducing station. Water comes in from the city at about 80 PSI. Gotcha. We don't need that much pressure filling our makeup, you know, our water mm -hmm. in our closed loop. Right. Because the pumps are only, you know, sucking at like 20 PSI. And this is the this one's pump on suction like 35, right now. 40, you yeah. know. So we don't need 80 PSI coming in here and messing up these pumps. Right. Which is why you put a reducing station on it. And the reducing station is the middle pipe right here. The reducing station is this here. And the way this works is you got city water coming in. Let me get over here and let's get a closer view of what's going on. Gosh, I think that gauge is fucked up. So the way this works, water coming in. Okay. This is our relief valve. Our relief valve is set at 30 pounds 30 of pressure. PSI. 30 okay. PSI. This is set to come in at 12 PSI. So only 12 PSI water is coming into this bad boy. They have this one set to about 20 PSI to come in. Okay. Okay? That's what comes in and fills this bag comes in and fills it. Yes, but let's say we have to isolate this because we're going to drain this expansion tank. Okay, going to drain Normally this there's a, so right now this is what we got. What they are wanting to do, what they, you know, what we want to do is put a elbow there, come here, put another shut off, put here, uh -huh. and put here. So that's our bypass. What that does is if I need to fill this, this pump, I put a T here, I come up, I come off with just a ball valve, a regular ball valve. Gotcha. And basically bypass this bad boy. So now I'm filling it at, at 80 higher, PSI. Yeah, that way it'll fill faster. Exactly. Instead of being filled at 20 PSI. Exactly. It'll take is, you forever to do that. Yes, sir. So, so okay. right here. It's the difference between using a garden hose and a fire hose. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So this right here is still pending. Okay. So this, you said this is your relief valve. So if it gets over a certain PSI, this is going to just pop off. Yes. It's going to shoot out water. Yes. Okay. To relieve that pressure. Okay. The boiler cabinet is becoming rusted. And we're going to go ahead and look at the boiler cabinet right now. This is your boiler. And it is rusted and deteriorated, and, so I'm going to put... And the cabinet itself is pretty rusted out. It's oxidized and rusted. The signs of UV, sun wear, and all that. We also found that the air separator, the pumps, expansion tank, boiler, shutoff valves, gas lines are rusted. Still pending. Okay. The interior of the tower is becoming to have scaled buildup, still pending. Let's look at these spray eliminators, okay? Okay, now those should be at the top of the tower, is that correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. And when they, when they say spray eliminator, that basically kind of self-explanatory, right? It eliminates the spray or? Yes. Okay. So this one I basically put on here, duplicate. No bypass, it's a duplicate, needs to be removed. So they wrote the same thing twice on this sheet? Yeah. Okay, I got you. Okay. All right, everything else is just a proposal for pen, um, 
budget replacements. Gotcha. Okay. So we need to look at the spray eliminators. Spray eliminators are at the top here. And I'm gonna have to climb up there and I will be right with you. 